Hi everyone, my name is Megan Loveless and I wanted to show you how to integrate your distance learning materials into Schoology. The first thing that needs to happen is that we need to make sure that we have our own copy of these materials. So you can do that by going into your drive and locating the materials and doing a right click or a two finger tap and saying make a copy. You can also open the file full the file and say file make a copy entire presentation the reason that i choose to do it this way is because i like to label everything with my initials as to not be confused at which file or document is which so i put my initials on there say okay it's going to bring up another window we can go ahead and close that out though for now and come back to our Schoology. Okay, the next thing that needs to happen is we need to make sure that we have the apps installed. So we're going to go to our app center, which is these four squares up in the toolbar. And we're going to click on the blue bar that says app center. And there's a ton of different apps that you guys can use, but for this stuff specifically, we're going to be using the Google Drive resource app. We're going to say install resource app. I agree to this and we're going to install. I'm going to come back to my course and I'm going to create a folder for all of my materials. I'm going to call it unit 11 and say create. Okay, if I want to add a picture, I can edit it or I can do it when I was creating the folder. Insert content. And then say, let's the sports field. Okay. You want to resize your picture by clicking on it, clicking on this icon that looks like a picture. And I think about a 300 by 200 is about the perfect size for me. And I'll say save changes. Now we have a visually appealing folder. I can click on the picture or the folder icon and go from there. Okay, there's nothing in this folder, so let's go ahead and add some assignments to our folder. We'll come up here to add materials and I wanna add an assignment. I'm going to say unit 11 vocabulary, vocabulary builder. Okay. And now, because we installed the Google Drive assignments here, this is where we're going to grab our assignment. And because I've labeled everything with ML, I can do a quick search and find it. I'm going to insert the vocabulary builder and attach it. And now this is going to create a unique copy for each of your students. I'm going to assign it for Friday. It's only worth 10 points and I have a distance learning category here. Okay, I can unpublish it down here so that the students can't see it yet, or I can copy it to other courses. I wanna show you guys a little later in the video what this is going to look like, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy it to my advanced Spanish class, and then I'm going to say create. Okay. When I go into this assignment now, I can see who is in progress and working on it and who has submitted it. We just assigned it, so nobody's that big of an overachiever. They haven't done it yet. So I can see that these three people have not even opened the assignment yet. But I wanna go back and assign more materials. So I'll go again to add materials, add assignment. This time I'm gonna assign a Google Doc instead of a Google slide. So you can come back here again to Google Drive Assignments. And again, I'm gonna search with something with ML because that's what I named all my stuff. Here's a reading that's a Google Doc and I'm going to say attach. Again, I want this due on Friday, 10 points. And the category is distance learning. Again, I can copy it to another class. Okay, 
So in the Google Drive resource app, you can only assign Google Slides and Google Docs. So we need to work around the Google Forms that are the Campanadas. You can do this in one of three ways. All three ways, you're gonna start with Add Materials. And the first way is just going to be a link. So I'm going to add a link. So we're gonna to need to go make sure that we grab a link. So I wanna do the Campanada Uno. I'm gonna open it up. In the top right hand corner, So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to make sure we do is go ahead and grab a link from our materials. So I'll just grab this Campanada Cinco. Okay, and in the top right hand corner, there's the send button. I'm gonna click here to the link button and I'm gonna copy and paste the link. Come back over here to Schoology, paste the link over here. And this is gonna be Campanada Cinco is what I grabbed. Okay. That's going to be the first thing, the first way that you can assign a Google form. The kids just click on this link and it takes them right to the Google form. Another way that you can assign this link is to actually go ahead and create another folder and call this Campanada Cinco. And we're gonna insert an image. The image we are going to insert is one that I created in Canva, which is a free website that you can create graphics. To change the size of the image again, we're going to click on it. And we're gonna call it 300 by 200 and say update. Now, the students can click on this picture because I'm going to embed it with a link. I'm going to highlight the picture again. I'm going to go to insert content and say link, copy and paste my link again and say insert and say create. I like this because it's visually appealing to the students um, and they know they can click right here on this picture and it will take them to their file. Navigating back to Schoology. The only negative thing about doing it this way is that it opens the folder when you click on the picture and then there's nothing there. Or you could put your stuff in the that folder after they do the campanada. Okay, and then the third way that you can do this is to say add materials, add file, link, or external tool. We're gonna do it as an external tool this time. We're gonna again call it Campanada Cinco. Insert our URL. And the thing I like about this is that you can enable grading. Okay, this is gonna be worth five points and it'll show a due date. This way it'll show up on their calendar that it needs to be done. And say submit. The other nice thing about this is that it keeps it within um, embedded within Schoology. Navigating back to our course, we're going to see our completed things. So over here, you can see the upcoming, on the right hand pane, the upcoming assignments and things that you've assigned. Okay, and then we talked earlier about copying assignments to courses. I like to go ahead and create the entire folder for first, and then heading over here to this gear and saying, copy two courses. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the other course that we moved it to. Okay, and here are our assignments. But I need to edit them to make sure the document is included. So I'm going to hit that right gear shift on the right hand side again and select edit and then go to the Google Drive assignments and they should be right there because we just used them. We're gonna say attach, save changes, and do the same thing for this one. Edit, Google Drive, and then the report based reading, and say save changes. 
Navigating back to our comprehensible classroom. I also wanted to show you guys that you can do a couple of different things with student completion. So we'll go into here and I'm gonna turn on my options for student completion. So to do that, we went to options, student completion, and then we're going to add requirement. You can even require this to be done in sequential order. So the first thing I want them to do is their campanada. And this one, they just must complete. Okay, the next thing I want them to do is the Los Deportes reading. And this one, they must make a submission. The next thing I want them to do is a different campanada, the link. So this one, they must view the item. Okay, and then it will show you um, what students are engaged in your materials or not. And you can click up here on student progress and see that Cynthia has opened 50% of my requirements, but nobody else has. I hope this video tutorial was helpful and um, that you learned something new and how to make it more visually appealing. Thanks for watching.